Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, well, we died again, kind of, but not really. But this time, we were thought to be in the Good Soup family, so we were put inside the crypt, and there we have met. Come on, back over here. Uh, Minnie, Minnie Stroney, the ghost bride, who has, at the moment, uh, the ring that we need. But uh, to get that ring off her, we need to find a replacement ring. And she's also got a lover who was lost in a hotel room, and then we met him, and he's actually dead. All this, it was a messed up situation, really. We're just, it's a whole can of worms. But um, yeah, we're currently stuck inside this crypt. We've met Murray. Murray's here, hello. Uh, and also, there's a crack in the wall. Let's have a quick talk to Murray again, see what he has to say. Hi, Murray. Oh, it hurts. Oh, okay. Can we can we take you with us? Hey. Oh, we can. <laughs> he just can't stop jammering. Hey, look at him go. Okay, great. So we've got Murray with us. That's nice. A little bit of company, I suppose. Wait, what was that bowl? Oh, can I take the bowl? Looks like minestrone, delicately seasoned with cobwebs and mouse knuckles. Mmm, I'll take some of that, thank you. No, really, I couldn't. I'm full. Oh, oh, uh... It's probably gotten cold. So we don't need to, uh... Eat some, fine, but we'll add some cheese to it. No, that's silly. That's just being silly. So we've had a look at the coffin, I believe. Did we have a look at the crack in the wall? Oh, there's another bowl there, though. Is it going to be exactly the same thing? Probably. Probably indeed. It's vegetable soup with raisins. I don't feel comfortable stealing the soup of the dead. That's fair enough. So the crack. Let's have a look at the crack in the wall. <gasps> Wait, where are we looking at? What is this? What is this place? Mort? That's the guy who buried us. Or at least took our supposedly dead body away. Where? What room? Are we connected to though? That's weird. Oh man, there's loads of stuff in here to look at. Let's have a look at Mort first. That must be the gravedigger. Yes, gravedigger. Oh, okay, yep. Uh, and then lantern. Oh, we need a lantern. It's a glowing lantern. We need that. I can't reach. We can't reach anything though, can we? Oh, it's got a novel. It looks like he's writing a horror novel. It's called The Grog That Drank People. Part one of a three book cycle. I wonder why trashy media always comes in threes. And you just know that the third one is going to be in two parts. You just know it. Uh, a werewolf? Wow, this place is a real creep. Spooky. Yeah, he must like the horror and everything then. Is that a Moby Dick? Poster. It's the poster for some really trashy monster book. Trust me, it'll never sell. Hmm. Uh, what, what does that one say? Something the Beaking? Sick. Sickers? I can't. Who cares? Uh, there's some trophies up there. It's hard to see what it is from where I was standing. Judging by the beard, I'm guessing it's a goat. I mean, that, that looks like a human head to me. Uh, that one's obviously a deer or something. That one's a. What? Well, Pig? Okay, Raven. Never more. It's the stuff that really boring dreams are made of. Right. <gasps> the Chuck mask. Looks like a Halloween mask. Maybe he's dressing up as maybe this is like Scooby Doo and he's dressing up like the Chuck. Pulpy books. It's a bunch of cheesy horror stories. A hanged smuggle bunny. Cloying yet grisly at the same time. Man, there's so much stuff. Actually, I think that's it. Oh no, dinosaur doll. It's a dinosaur from the monsters that time couldn't care less about. And another poster. It's a poster for some dumb book about undead pirates. What does that one say? Pirates must die. Pirates must die. Is that it then? Can we maybe talk to Mort through the crack in the wall? Ask us, ask him to let us out, maybe? I definitely have checked everything here, haven't I? I think so. Yeah. Oh, we're there, I see. Let's have a look. Uh, talk. Hey, mister! Help! What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort, the grave digger? There's been a horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no joke. I'm really trapped in here. Don't just wave Crazy your arms. kids with your long hair and your Baroque music? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me, you can't get fooled again. Oh, what am I... 
No, more. Don't be, don't be like that. Uh, this isn't a trick. I'm really trapped. You must love horror stories. That's what I said. And I'm going to go sulk in the darkness. Let's ask about. Maybe we can sort of not trick him, but I don't know. Get his attention by talking about stuff he loves. You must love horror stories to own all these collectibles. Reading fantastic stories about the dead helps me keep my mind off my work. That's a good point, actually. It must be quite tough, grave digging. As as far as careers go. Why are you wasting your money on all this bad fiction? That's not very nice. Why are you wasting your money on all this bad fiction? At least my bad fiction doesn't require over a thousand dollars in hardware. I see your point. Hmm, <laughs> kind of showing its age there. That <laughs> of this game, that point there. Okay. Let me out of this crypt! I keep doing that, it's really annoying. I'm not falling for your tricks this time. Just leave me alone and let me read my horror novels. Fine, fine. Uh, this isn't a trick. I'm really trapped in this crypt. I drank a special potion that put me into a coma. Thinking I was dead, they buried me in this crypt. Yeah, right. They did that in the book. Never trade lunches with a corpse. If you kids ever came up with an original idea, I might believe you. Just come and look at me through this crack. Oh, sure. I turn my back to the door and you thieving little hoodlums will sneak up from behind and tie me up. I read all about your sinister ways in my horror novels, so nothing doing. Okay, I think uh, <laughs> you've seen through my web of deceit. What, what is anything actually going to make him change his mind? I don't think it is. Curses, you've seen through my web of deceit. I'm no ordinary man trapped in a crypt. Well, what are you then? Uh, my faster than light ship uh, subspace. Uh, I seek the golden rods of Cthon. I'm an angry and deranged ghost haunting this crypt. Well, there is one, kind of. But, yeah. Uh, selling these... <laughs> oh my god. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. I'm a vegan. I hate the exploitation of animals. Really? But what about all those stuffed heads on your wall? Well, only one of those is real. What I meant to say was... I had to, alright? I had to do that. I'm sorry. Let's try... Well, I guess ghosts? I don't think he'd be too interested in space. Let's just try ghosts. I'm an angry and deranged ghost haunting this crypt. Then, let me see you appear before me. Excuse me? If you were a real spirit, you could materialize in a ghostly form. It's all in the books. Well, let's see it. Isn't the ominous sound of my disembodied voice proof enough? I guess not. Uh, alright. So that hasn't worked either. Um, we've tried that already. Uh, is anything... I don't think anything's going to work, to be honest. I'm going to go sulk in the darkness now. Have a good time. Good. So we definitely... If we're there, we definitely can't reach that lantern. I can't reach. Oh, what about if we use something to pick it up with? Because we'd need that. Crowbar. I can't reach. Oh, the skeleton hand. Oh, well, that can reach the lantern, but it won't grab hold. Oh, actually, damn. Okay. Um, it can reach the lantern, but it won't grab hold. Oh, what if we make it sticky? What if we add some paste to it? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? Okay, now would he believe that we're a spooky ghost? Now we have a lantern? Maybe? What about if we put the... What about if we put Murray through the crack? Murray, say something scary. Boo! <laughs> I am a fearsome skull! I don't think it's working, Guybrush. <laughs> okay, right, let's look through there again. And then... Did we actually look at the parrot? It's either a dead parrot or a very strange bat. It is deceased. I can't reach. Okay, we use... Oh no, is the skeleton arm gone? Oh, that's there. I thought we'd lost it then. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Alright. Yeah, I bet that would really give him the creeps, but I can't reach him. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. Okay. So, we've, we've, we're about using Murray now. Where's Murray? Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Alas, I can't use Murray with that. Or what about the lantern now with him? I don't think he'd no. like that. Alright, this is... this is. Hmm. Let's go back. 
Let's go back. Maybe we haven't fully explored this area yet, but we now have a lantern, which is very useful. Very useful indeed. I don't think the screen goes more that way, so let's go back over here. Uh, there's the uh, Minestrone ghost. Oh wait, wasn't there something up here about it being too dark? What, what did he say when we went... <laughs> it was like this little Easter egg bit. Well, the hole is too small for me to squeeze through. Eh, there's nothing interesting up here anyway. I'd better find another way out. No, okay. Uh, huh. I may have to do some... Do some clicking and some pixel hunting and maybe try and combine some stuff as well. I've already looked at that, I know we have. And the door is definitely, definitely locked, right? Definitely, definitely. Come on, Guybrush. It goes out to the cemetery. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, open it. It's locked. There's no way out. All right, as I thought. Okay, so I'm going to try and do some stuff and I'll cut back if I discover anything that seems to work. Oh, that's made a shadow. Oh, we can look like a ghost. We can look like a ghost. All right, do it now. Do it now. Go in there. Look, there we are. There's our ghost. Ooh, spooky. It's me again. The guy who isn't trapped in the Good Soup family crypt. What do you want? Look, we're a ghost. Ooh, spooky. I'm going to haunt you until you set me free. So you say you're a ghost. Sure I am. Can't you see my ghostly form on the wall behind you? That? <laughs> That's not the form of a vicious, tortured spirit from beyond the grave. Now, there's a picture of a ghost in my copy of Mask of the Red Mud. Huge, hollow eyes. Toothy, remorseless grin. Glowing, inner fire. That's what a ghost looks like. You got the silhouette of a doofy pencil neck boy. That's... that's... kind of true, actually. Alright, let's I'm try gonna Murray. I'm go sulk in the darkness now. Let's try and do this. Murray, do your stuff. Okay. Boom! Ah! Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. Great work, Murray. I... I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent! <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There. It's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. Okay, well, you did a good job, Murray. Thank you. We're going to take this anyway, because I think... Can we take this? It's useless now that it's out of oil. No, it's not. You're wrong. Screw you. Fine. <laughs> Stay here, then. Um, I thought we might be able to use that in the lighthouse, but never mind. So let's get the hell out of here. Sorry, Minnie. We'll come back for you later, maybe. We'll try and get you a husband or something. Uh, for the time being, maybe we should head back to see how Stan's doing, because obviously he was in the process of setting up his office. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I think he's pretty much there, it seems. Wow, how, how tasteful. Lights on a, on a tomb. That's very nice. Okay. Oh, Stan. Right. What's he got to say? Hey, hey, Guybrush. There sure are a lot of skeletons in here. Uh-oh. Quick, pull the head off one and stick me on top of the spine. I don't think I want you walking around freely, Murray. Oh, please. I'm getting out of here. Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd he go? Oh no, I've lost Murray. I bet he's in there. He's one of these skulls, isn't he? Which one's Murray? Well, for the time being, I don't care. Seems like Stan's nice and... I love the Stan music. Seems like he's up and running. Let's have a quick chat with him, shall we? Uh, oh, right, okay. Not even going to say hello. Fine. 
You convinced me I want to buy some insurance. You convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy. It's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. Oh, um, okay. Uh, enormous uncast diamond, antique bottle, refrigerator magnets, very nice. Umbrella, pirate tooth. I mean, it is gold, and I have nothing. I have a feeling none of these are going to work, because there's that bottom option. But let's try it anyway. This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. <laughs> right, okay, well. I never thought I'd be uh, getting some life insurance in a video game, but uh, there you go. Let's have a quick look at it. This entitles the bearer of this document to the sum of a lot of money <laughs> on the event of the demise of hearty beef and potato good soup. That's my name, don't wear it out. Okay, great, so we'll, well not us, we'll, we'll be dead, but someone will get a lot of money. Maybe Elaine, that'd be nice. Can we take any of these things on his desk just whilst I'm here? Mm, no. Mm, <laughs> what no. was that called? Executive thingy, the Ian's cradle. Nice. Uh, and what about the lamp? Mm, no. No. Okay, well, I guess we can't steal from Stan. Only fair. We might have to try and find where Murray's gone, or he might turn up by himself if he's got a body. But, um, hey, I think that was a successful uh, episode. We, we escaped from the crypt and we got some life insurance. Lovely. We'll uh, continue whatever the hell it is we're doing next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.